That. I'm gonna try that. See if I can get down there. This is where sneaking would be super beneficial. Are you serious? It's because he's stuck in that room, huh? Can't see me if I disappear, suckers. Don't be locked. Looking for like a password book or something. Damn it. All right, we're going to get them out of here. We'll just make Sabiel run up there. Hopefully that doesn't make the townsfolk mad at me. Raider Victor Voss, all right. Oh God. He's hurt. Aha, suckers. The man glowers from under his hood. You can't see oh, that scared me. But you know they are trained on you. It scared me. I died or something. What if I do this? Note Knife the throw. blood. If I do this. Okay. They call you a slayer of giants. If you strike from the shadows as effectively as you strike in the light, you may find my supplies invaluable. Hmm. Thank you for the compliment. You're worthier than any of Kim's chums. They're smug, they're brutal, but nothing more. It's no wonder the folks here come to me for guidance. They can't fight. They can only hide. Pilgrims, revelers, with every one of their cheers and prayers, they draw wicked eyes. The publicly faithful are easy targets. 
in Ox, strength is found only in silence. Is there more on your mind? Not really, mate. Thank you. Yeah, this place is quite large. begins to gush uh -oh. from the eyes, mouths, noses, and ears of several bystanders. Their flesh melts away, revealing hellish figures beneath. What the fuck? You spilled the blood of the advocate. The doctor demands a reckoning. Oh, snap. Come at me. They're not all bad, are they? Ooh. Nope. Summon Crunchy first. Turning around? Oh, I need to take a, a slight shimmy step. Oh, these guys are level 20s. I'm dead. See? Look at Spiel's almost dead. This might kill me. Oh, I heal at the same time. That's cool. A piercer, stargazer, soul hunter. Do any of them look like casters? That one does. I'm not gonna be able to kill these guys. I'm gonna die. Can't even do anything. Yeah, there goes all my magic armor. Uh, I don't even know why I'm bothering fighting this. I'm just gonna die. Is that a free cast? That's a free cast. That's awesome. That makes it even awesomer. You just gonna leave? What the fuck? Really? You just gonna leave like that? What? What just happened? I just got supremely lucky. The man and the elf keep their voices to a discreet level, but it's impossible to miss the tension between them. They're arguing. What more to convince you? More void woken? A plague? An earthquake? Ark's is doomed. Our future is elsewhere. Farrah, come on. 
Where's this elsewhere that's better than Ark's? This is the greatest city in the world. I'll leave it over my dead body. Exactly. Your dead body. My dead body. This place is dead. We can be together anywhere. They fall into a sullen silence, neither of them willing to give in. You should leave. Keep out of this. This is not a good time. Please uh, leave us. My bad. This is the under the city part. At least. Never mind. I thought we were going to be able to read it. I got real lucky when the void woke and attacked. They didn't go anywhere near the chemist state. I know some people that lost everything. Void woke. Maybe, but most of us are here to trade with chem. He's tough to nail down. Luckily, our appraiser Cat's already made her way into the estate. The Chems lost nothing in the attack, so Cat will try to convince them to share a little. Who's the Cat? She's our leader, and a damn fine appraiser too. Meet her inside, and she might even trade with you. Oh, look at your inventory, Mr. Renald. Do you like what you see? Nope, you don't. The man in front of you is clad in a ragtag assortment of garb. He looks up from repairing a battered instrument to smile and nod at you. One trap. Ho there, fellow traveller. Luronta. Looking for some cheer to lighten the mood of this grim city? Did you see the elf home? Yes, Callisti, I did indeed. Such a beautiful place. Such beautiful folk. It makes me sad the children of today could never see it. How are you in such a good mood at such well, trouble times? Rough. At some point, long ago, I decided poetry had but two purposes. To quicken the people's river of tears, or to stave them. Look around you. You'll find fear and longing and desperation. What good is a bard's solemnity in a city besieged by void and divided by war? My privilege and my duty is to remind the people of Arx that there's blue sky and shimmering sun beyond the clouds. Of course, and glad to... Play me a piece. My words shall lift your spirits, make no mistake. But I need to pay my way. So I'd ask yeah, for any have some 100 gold. If, what do you say, Rav? Yeah, go for the it. Have the gold. tips his floppy hat to you as he counts the coin you handed over. Now, what poem would you care to hear? An That's for an original. Classic or an original verse? Take a seat, Rav. Make yourself at home. Give me a moment to clear my throat. <coughs> and... Listen. I've walked this oh, I thought he was going to just take off running. The trader sways in time to the bard's tune, but stops as you approach. She looks at the mansion nervously, then back to you. Looking for, um, something special? What? Why are you jumping? Am I that transparent? I'm a little on edge, it's true. She nods to the looming estate. We never met Butter. I realized. See behind me. That's Linda Kem's mansion. And if cats to be believed, Kem's got something valuable in there. So valuable that if we can find it, I'd be set for life. She's in there now, looking for this this thing. I don't know what it is, but Cat promises our lives are about to change for the better. Who is She's this an woman? appraiser and a damn good one at that. Kem's obsessed with his own riches. He brings Cat in to tell him how much his collection's worth, then basks in his wealth like a lizard in the sun. Her voice lapses into a soft whisper. People like Kem, they just get richer and richer, while the rest of us scramble for their scraps. Cat says we deserve better, and I believe her. Let's trade. All done, now. my home in Alaroth, I packed I my life up when I in a Boo. She responds with a nervous wave, and her eyes flit to the mansion behind her. 
Right, we got a couple of quests in there. Got cat. Really? Looks like it's flowing from the garden. Kind of worried about going anywhere because I'm gonna get freaking level twenties attacking me. Here we go. Get in here. Really? Okay. A little area there. Oh, we have to actually go through the mansion to get over there. My word, the mansion's positively overrun with foreign folk on this most inauspicious of Lucian's days. He catches himself and scrapes his throat in a brief moment of embarrassment. <clears throat> I do apologize if I came across as impertinent just now, and I hope you'll forgive my unabating boldness when I assume Sir has come here in search of an audience with either Lord or Lady Ken. Uh... I want to know about Cat. Oh, gracious, her? I truly hope you are not in cahoots with that brazen peddler. Well, she's in the dining room. Why would I want to see the lady of the house? Yes, I'll be on my way. Please excuse me, for I have a party of dignitaries to attend to. Right, yeah, I'll come back here. Oh, I thought I was on the other side of the map. I thought I was over here. I rotated my camera and I went the way I was not wanting to go. I was wondering why the mansion was over there. I was like, I thought it was on the left side. What's that? Him is that way. All right, this map is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Maybe I should have went this way. Stop take of nothing Oh, oh, I didn't see you there. So uh, it's been uh, more. quite a day. You need a hand with anything, let me know. He rubs his jaw in thought and gives you a long look. Loar, eh? The boss has been getting messages from dwarves all over, but that is an interesting one. He's not exactly everyone's favorite dwarf, but uh, talk to the guard at the door. I really shouldn't say any more. Have you had a problem with these? No, the boss's daughter was tying the knot. Guards were to make sure it was invite only. Not that, not that it made any difference. There's no way we could have known. But even in these times, one doesn't expect the void woman mm. to appear at a wedding. I'll tell you something though, we'd no problem with those filthy beasties till all these guards showed up. What do you know about the void walking attack? Don't know much. Everyone was out in the garden for the wedding. I was watching the shop and then guards were everywhere, but those beasties just cut through them like butter. Boss said to keep the doors open, but but truth be told, I feel ill just standing here. By Duna, closing can't come fast enough. Surprised you were over for You and me both. Worked for Ross for a decade, and half expected an invitation of my own. But even with half of Ark lying dead in his garden, he still wants the shop open. Then again, if I'd been at the wedding, whew, the fact that the boss loves counting his pennies is probably the only reason I'm breathing. That said, it doesn't feel right to be walking wares with that next door. Job's the job, though. Can hardly leave Arks with naught but empty pockets. Oh, of course. Let's you won't it. find better in all of Arks. I can promise you that. As long as it's not pictures. 
Not bad, eh? Oh.